Today, I'll be scoring and ranking the core quality of 16 true wireless earbuds. I've got pairs ranging from $50 all the way to $300. Now, there's going to be three tests, a simple quiet room, some simulation, loud kid noise, and the hardest test of all, a windy city with construction and crowd noise. So in each category, I'll score the buds on a scale of 1 to 10, and I've included most of the more well-known brands, but the cheaper pairs might surprise you. All of the samples you're going to hear are unedited, and with the scoring, I'm going to take into account volume, clarity of the voice, as well as how well all the earbuds block out the noise. And within each category, I'll start from the worst earbud, working the way up to the best. So let's get straight into it, starting with the quiet room test. Keeping in mind, most earbuds perform quite well in a quiet room, so there's going to be a lot of ties. Here are the samples. All right, so starting the test here, recording off my iPhone 15 Pro in my studio at the moment, and it's nice and quiet. All right, here is a call quality of the Bose QC Ultra in a nice quiet room. All right, here's the call quality of the Sennheiser Momentum 3 True Wireless in a nice quiet room. All right, here is the call quality of the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro in a nice quiet room. All right, here is the call quality of the Sony Link Buds S, and I'm in a nice quiet room right now. All right, so here is the call quality of the Sony WF XM5s. I'm currently in a nice quiet room. All right, here's the call quality of the Beat Studio Buds Plus in a nice quiet room. All right, here is the core quality of the Jabra Elite 8 Active in a nice quiet room. All right, here's the core quality of the Earphone 3 Pro 3 in a nice quiet room. All right, here is the core quality of the Google Pixel Buds Pro in a nice quiet room. All right, so here is the core quality of the OnePlus Buds Pro 2, and I'm in a nice quiet room at the moment. All right, here's the core quality of the Denon Pole Pro in a nice quiet room. All right, here is the core quality of the Soundcore Liberty 4 in a nice quiet room. All right, here is the core quality of the Jabra Elite 10 in a nice quiet room. All right, here's the core quality of the Nothing Ear 2 and I'm in a nice quiet room. All right, here is the core quality of the AirPods Pro 2 in a nice quiet room. All right, here's the core quality of the Soundpeats Capsule 3 Pro in a nice quiet room. All right, there you go. Like I said, it's pretty close. Any of the pairs are going to be fine, but I was pretty surprised to see the cheapest pair today, the Soundpeats Capsule 3 Pro, take the win. And to be honest, scoring this is pretty challenging and there's a lot of similarities. But what I like to think about is when you're actually hearing this on a phone call, the quality is not going to be as good as you're hearing here. So that's where volume and a direct sound I find works the best when transferred over to an actual phone call. But now on to test number two. If you have kids and they're quite noisy when you're on meetings, phone calls, this is going to be the test for you. So let's hear how well all the earbuds block out some loud children noise. All right, so now we're going to test the ability for the microphones to block out some kids noise being played quite loud outside my uh, studio door right now. All right, here's the call quality of the Bose QC Ultra with some kid noise being played in the distance. All right, here's the call quality of the Sennheiser Momentum 3 with some kid noise being played in the near distance. All right, here is the call quality of the AirPods Pro 2 with some kid noise being played in the near distance. All right, here is the call quality of the Sony WF Action 5s with some kid noise being played in the distance. All right, here is the call quality of the Jabra Elite 8 Active with some kid noise being played in the near distance. All right, here is the call quality of the Google Pixel Buds Pro with some kid noise being played in the distance. All right, here is the call quality of the Sony Link Buds S with some kid noise being played in the near distance. All right, here's the call quality of the Earphone 3 Pro 3 with some kid noise being played in the near distance. All right, here's the call quality of the Nothing Ear 2 with some kid noise being played in the near distance. All right, here's the call quality of the Jabra Elite 10 with some kid noise being played in the near distance. All right, here's the call quality of the Denon Pearl Pro with some kid noise being played in the near distance. All right, so here's the call quality of the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 with some kid simulation noise being played in the near distance. All right, here's the call quality of the Soundpeats Capsule 3 Pro with some kid noise being played in the distance. All right, here's the call quality of the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro with some kid noise being played in the distance. All right, here is the call quality of the Soundcore Liberty 4 with some kid noise being played in the near distance. All right, here's the call quality of the Beat Studio Buds Plus with some kid noise being played in the near distance. All right, another solid effort again from the Soundpeats Capsule 3 Pro, but the Beats Studio Buds Plus just on another level when it comes to blocking out noise. The Soundcore Liberty 4 does have better clarity, but I just had to give that higher score to the Beats Studio Buds Plus. But now onto the final and most challenging round for the earbuds. We got wind noise, city noise, construction and crowd noise, 
all combined together. So this kind of condition is gonna be suited for people that probably wear their earbuds all day. You're on meetings, you're on phone calls. And if you are one of those people, you're gonna to love today's sponsor, SpinFit because their new Omni tips are the highest quality replacement tips you can get. Improving sound, security, and most importantly, comfort. I personally wear earbuds all the time at the gym, on calls, editing videos, even when I'm shopping to block out the annoying shopping music and the Omni ear tips make it easier than ever to wear my earbuds all day. Cause they have a dual layer tube core, which grips a tip to your bud and the soft outer layer gives you the comfort your delicate ear canal deserves. They stay in place super securely with their soft and flexible spin fit silicon and these tips are built to last. I've been using them for the last month on plenty of my earbuds and they fit on most earbuds except for pairs that have quite a shallow charging case or quite a thin or narrow nozzle. But you can see here, even the kind of interesting shaped Jabra Elite 10 nozzle, the only tips fit on completely fine because that triple segmented core is super flexible. As I've said over the years on this channel, it's always great to have a pair of spin fit ear tips on hand. So if you want to grab some Omni ear tips, I've got a link down in the description and there you can find the whole spin fit range, including their rebranded W1 ear tips that now come in single packs. So they have a larger nozzle, more suited for IEMs. So get yourself some tips and thank you spin fit for sponsoring today's video. All right, here are the samples for the city noise. All right, so now I've got some construction noise being played in the near distance, some crowd noise being played on my MacBook Pro. I've got my trusty fan here to simulate some wind noise. Keeping in mind, I'm only gonna hold the fan on one ear at a time since only one earbud microphone is gonna get used at a time. All right, here's the ball quality on the MacBook Pro with some construction, crowd noise. <laughs> Ultra, there's some construction, some crowd noise, and some noise. Alright, here's the call quality of the AirPods Pro 2, there's some wind noise, some crowd noise, and some very loud construction noise. Alright, here's the call quality of the Sennheiser and then there's three two wireless with some construction, wind noise, and crowd noise. Alright, so here's the call quality of the same WFXM5s with some construction, crowd noise, and wind noise. All right, here's the call quality of a Galaxy Buds 2 Pro with some construction, some wind noise, and some crowd noise. All right, here is the call quality of the Sony Loop Buds S with some construction, crowd noise, and some wind noise. All right, here's the call quality of the Google Pixel Buds Pro with some construction, crowd noise, and wind noise. All right, here's the call quality of the Denim Pro Pro with some construction, some crowd noise, and some wind noise. All right, here is the call quality of the Jabra Elite 8 Active with some wind noise, some crowd noise, and some construction noise. All right, here's the call quality of the Earphone 333 with some wind noise, some crowd noise, and some construction noise. All right, so here's the call quality of the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 with some construction, some crowd noise, and some simulation wind. All right, here is the call quality of the Jabra Elite 10 with some construction, crowd noise, and some wind noise. All right, here's the call quality of the Nothing E2 with some construction, crowd noise, and some wind noise. All right, here's the call quality of the Sound Quality Liberty 4 with some construction, some crowd noise, and some wind noise. All right, here's the call quality of the Beat Studio Buzz Plus with some construction, some crowd noise, and some wind noise. All right, so I told you that was gonna be a challenging round. A lot of the earbuds really did struggle, but let's tally up the final scores and see which bud came out on top. And in first place, we've got a tie here, both with a score of 27, is the Beats Studio Buds Plus and Sound Called Liberty 4. Nothing Year 2 in the second spot and the Jabra Elite 10 in the third spot. It was honestly a bit sad to see the Capsule 3 Pro choke in the final test. It would have been pretty cool if they could have come out on top. But look, the total score doesn't really matter. Take into account what matters most for you and choose from that. But if you're thinking about grabbing the Sound Called Liberty 4, check out my full review here. It's a solid all-round earbud and they have the best call quality. So check it out. In the meantime, stay piggy. See you in the next one. Bye now.